What inspired me to get a graduate degree is that it was always in my plan. My dad has a higher education. Um, after undergrad, he went straight into vet school, um, and he's also since then gotten a master's degree. So I kind of just looked at, looked at him as an influence and, um, and decided after undergrad I wanted to pursue a master's degree as well. I didn't go to Columbus State for my undergraduate degree. I went to a larger university, um, which now as I'm in my master's program at Columbus State, I definitely see the value in smaller class sizes versus larger lecture halls. Um, you actually enjoy the classes. I decided on Turner College of Business for four reasons. Um, the main reason was just the access to the faculty and professors. I sent a direct email to Dr. AJ and, and sent a direct email to Kate and both of them responded in a timely manner which was not something that I had experienced in my undergrad and so being able to just call the, the number that I found online and having a human answer on the other end meant a lot to me and I saw a lot of value in that. Um, the second reason was a smaller class size. In my undergraduate experience I was in a lot of lecture halls and so I learned the value of having a smaller class size where the professor knows your face if you're absent from class and he's able to email you and say hey what's going on is everything okay. So I saw a lot, a lot of value in the, in the smaller class sizes that Columbus State offers. Um, the third reason was just the, the program concentrations. I looked into the Masters of Organizational Leadership and they had a concentration in both servant leadership and human resources. Having that servant leadership option, that's something that my work really values, um, my full-time job. So I knew that that was something that I would want to pursue. Um, so having both of those concentrations in one place meant a lot to me. And then last Lastly was one of the course options. Under servant leadership they offer a coaching course and that's something that I experience from day to day in the work that I do. So being able to take a, co a course to refine my coaching skills or even just learn coaching, being able to take that course, um, that meant a lot to me. So those four reasons combined um, were the reason that I chose Turner College of Business. The main challenge that I faced um, in my transition from undergrad into my master's program was just having to move, move cities. Um, once I started looking into housing and Columbus, I realized that the cost of living was a lot higher than I had anticipated it um, just because of my undergraduate experience being in a in a city that had a low cost of living. Um, so getting used to that and, and forming my budget around that was kind of a tri tricky, um, tricky period in planning, but um, everything worked out. Yay! Work-life balance. What is that? Um, I think that the sooner that one realizes that you won't ever truly find a work-life balance, um, but what you will find is during, during certain seasons of your life, you'll have to choose work. In other seasons of your life, um, you'll you'll have to choose school and and figuring out when's the best time to pick between the two of those um, that's something that you have to develop before you start your master's program but you can even figure it out when you start I, I came into this program thinking oh I'm gonna have a balance and and what is this and what is that but I quickly realized that sometimes I'm gonna ha some days I'm going to have to pick um, to do my homework and other days I will be able to pick hanging out with my friends and on those other days I'll have to go to work and um, and, and kind of just grind it out and maybe even work when I get home and, and choose to do my assignment the next day because it's not due until two days from now. And so just kind of prioritizing what um, what's most important each day um, helped me find a work-life balance. Um, but for those that are discouraged about, about starting up their master's program because of work, I must say that it's possible you can do it. The, the classes and the course load is very doable, very manageable. Um, the professors understand. Where do I see myself after graduation? I think I ultimately want to be in Atlanta. I want to stay in Georgia near my family. That's just a priority to me. Um, but I think that there's definitely a season of life that I want to spend out of the state of Georgia. Um, maybe North Carolina, Colorado. Um, I've even flirted with the idea of going to New York for six months.